Welcome back to another Overlord Season 3 review. Today is Episode 3. I'm Justin. What is up? I'm Logan. And together we're Cow Shock. As always, we are anime viewers only, no source material, so no visual novels or anything like that. Or light novels, not visual novels. What the hell am I saying? Anyway, we're going to discuss this so we get our <laughs> scores at the end. Let's do it! So, yeah, we learn a little bit in the beginning more about what's, like, going on with the, the demon snake and the giant. Uh... They kind of team up because there's a monument of ruin. The one kid called it. What is that? What's that little agu? Uh, little goblin. It's surrounded dude. by undead. So I guess if it's surrounded by undead, you think it's more like Nazarick focus? I'd assume so. Have we met anything else that really deals with undead things? Besides the one guy and was that season one? Yeah. But he's, yeah, I assume it's something related to Nazareth. Maybe. And he said it was a big building that kind of plopped up, so. <clears throat> that sounds like it, maybe. And they have been building a lot, so, yes. and yeah. expanding in some places. Yeah. And it had to be enough of a threat for the demon snake and the giant to team up, so. Right, well. Maybe I missed something somewhere. I, well, possible. wasn't it something like. Actually, I forget. because they said the the beast wasn't anymore the the one that you know, Imes captured. Yeah, uh, I think I did miss something. To be honest, oh well, <laughs> yeah. we'll figure it out. <laughs> Comments always let us know. So yeah, they're always good at that. Um, but we did get a little more time <clears throat> with that. At least like Miss Lupus is there. Yeah, which... at least there is. Which is a fitting name because she is a werewolf, so lupus meaning wolf for Latin. So, Ooh, wow, Ooh, that's like lupus a... regina or something like anime that. Anime fun fact. Thank you, Justin. That's a, it's just it's just Latin. <laughs> I don't know if that's anime well, fun. That's episode, a Latin fact. Episode fun fact. Whatever character fun fact. Gee, sorry. Anyway, awesome. continue. But she, yeah, she comes in. Um, <laughs> Basically saying they could help or whatever, but Henry's like, you know what, we'll we'll do this. This is our village. We'll try to do as much as we can ourselves. Uh, which I guess they did all right because ogres came in. Yeah, just, ogres are just like, hey. They just kind of quickly captured ogres, came in like, hey, we captured five ogres. And then she, I feel like she those makes... ogres would just... The goblins, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, get out of here. <laughs> they were. They uh, they were also animated a little bit differently. I don't know. Yeah, just, they were definitely like CGI or. Yeah, CGI'd. they're like you know. It was just show we have them. <laughs> show big. Me. We're big. And we're we're gonna grow the city, which is like one of the focuses they're trying to do. Yeah. I'll try to get people in there. Also, a very. Uh, I feel like it was focused on. Um, Henry, this episode. Yeah, Henry moving towards, like, a leadership role or, like, the head. Yeah. To be honest, like, role. at the end, towards the end or whatever, just kind of jumping out where they asked her to become the village chief. I was like, I thought because she was already in a leader role, I was like, doesn't she already? That's what I thought. Well, I guess she leads the she goblins. Wasn't like, yeah, she was, like, a true leader. She wasn't, like, the village chief, but she might as well have been because everyone right. kind of looked her anyway. You know, if you control the army you're pretty much the leader <laughs> that's, that's kind of true <laughs> but a lot yeah a lot of this episode is just Henry focus I actually think they did a, a fairly good job of like actually developing her character throughout the episode right uh, at least I think they did a lot better when it came to actual character development uh, we didn't get too much of whatever that boy's name, Nif. It's like, there's like no vowels in it. <laughs> Nif. Nif. <laughs> Nif. You know what? Not really too much of a fan of his character. His haircut First bothers one. me. Let's be honest. Does. How does he see? All right. I had, <laughs> I used to have long hair like that. How does, you can't see. How you does can't he see? see? It pokes you in the eyes. 
It's awful. I used to do, I used to have something like that. Come on, man. It's like he he's never moving his hair out of the way. He's, like I get it, it's an anime or whatever, but come on, man. Like <laughs> I, you're always like doing this little thing. You're always moving it. Long hair. How does he see? I always have long hair, but like the bangs can only be so long before right. you're just poking he needs yourself a, he in needs the a eyeball. Haircut. Come on, <laughs> clean it up. <laughs> clean it up. But um. So yeah, Henry has to go towards the main city because you know she's got to sell them medicine, make that money. villagers recruited, which it's the only thing we don't see her in. She doesn't really go too um, much into the village recruiting. Like she talks about selling the medicine. What do you? How, how do you? <laughs> what? Just the thought of village. He's not gonna go to the church or you just grab homeless. I was about to say the, the thought of village recruiting just popped. It's like, hey, you want to come live in my village? We got goblins. I'd be like, what? <laughs> we got goblins and ogres. Like, who do you go for? <laughs> Is it homeless like, people? Homeless hey, people. Like, I live she here? said she was going like. I think it was a church. She said she would go to like. It's where the homeless people go with when they need care, right? So, hey, you homeless. <laughs> Do you like goblins and ogres? We got them. Well, we Come got on a down village. to Carne Village. One house for free. We got a village. <laughs> Buy one house, get one free. <laughs> so I'm like, what? How do you? So I'm like, I can't think of like a village salesman. <laughs> Come live here. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> it's actually a fun list to think about, but of course, when she gets there, she's struggling. Gets grabbed by the city guards, which this just felt forced to make Momon or, you know, Ainz Ainz to show her. I feel like they could have just, you know, met as they were walking through the gate. Right. Had it that way instead of, it felt like, it was like a comedy scene is what they were going for. He did just pop up. (laughs) Like, I mean, there was that very quick scene where it showed him at like his throne or not throne, his like table. For like literally two seconds, and then the next scene he just pops up. Like, hey, I'm gonna help. Let her through. Okay, thanks. <laughs> yeah, that's like that's why it's like I feel like they could have just, you know, had her coming through the front gate and run into him there, and then they could have talked instead of him leaving, sending Nabe back later to be like, hey, fly, tell me what, <laughs> tell me why you're here and all this. Of course, uh, <laughs> she, she instantly realizes like Nabe's kind of like Lupus. Yeah, like another battle maid. Another oh, watch that! Watch that term. I'm kidding. But yeah, another maid. <laughs> battle maid. She's battle like maid. six or whatever. Part of the final raid room led by Sebus Logan. Come on, know your stuff. Uh, anyway. <laughs> So, yeah, she tells her, like, oh, this is why I'm here or whatever. But she finds out, like, obviously Moan helped her. I keep saying Moan because that's what he goes by in his black armor. I mean, it's not Moan, wrong. <laughs> one, of his, one of his many names. But uh, he obviously helped her a lot because, like, the secretary there was like, oh, the cost is going to be way above whatever these poor villagers can afford. Right. Disgusting. And then she's like, Poor oh, villagers. And please. then she's like, oh, Lady, Lady Henry, like, Lady of Carne Village. It's like, hmm. <clears throat> Which, I'm thinking, it is going to be Momon that takes the quest That's what to come I'm help the well. village. That's very, hmm. I'm trying to think, never mind. I'm just thinking here. I'm still trying to think. Or is it just because... Momon I mean, talked with her, so... Like, I don't know. I'm trying to think what the use would be of this village for, like, Nazareth, I guess. Like, why is Well, he, it was just, like, the first city he, like... True, but, like, his wing why is he... Just, his goal is world domination, and I'm guessing he's just gonna, like... You know, if he proves he can subjugate this village, it proves he can subjugate anything. That's pretty large leap in logic. I mean, <laughs> yes, technically, but I feel like a village is different than a city. <laughs> hey, you get. You I'm get guessing. The okay, so if when, you control the people, you'll control. That's the what I was city. about to say. I'm guessing it's 
world domination, he doesn't want to just do it by like, here, we'll take it, we'll just kill people who defy us, yeah, yeah, which yeah. they could easily do. Always... Yeah. Maybe he wants <laughs> to be like, let's see if we can do this by, you know, leaving I mean, I people. think that was this whole thing with like, you know, Acutus saying like, don't do this like in a butchering manner or whatever. He's like... Right. The butchering manner. Just kill the important people. <laughs> like, hey, they brought some of them back, okay? <laughs> but yeah, I'm, that's what I'm getting is that it's we want to take over by like influence them towards us, not yeah. fear mongering. Yeah, exactly. Um, <clears throat> yeah, then she, you know. Leaves the village with all her stuff that she got. She got a whole bunch of weapons from the guild. Uh, I feel like carrying them in bags is not the not the safest way to carry weapons. Like this, is, <laughs> so like, there's like forty weapons in one bag. Like it was over stuff. The spears are sticking out. That like, is pretty dangerous. Like, ah, you trip. There's a spear going Should through. Should there you. be like? spear guards that you put over <laughs> you know you like how kitchen knives just, have those things you can put yeah, on yeah like spears sometimes you like wrap them or whatever but it's just, it's just wrapping they'll still they'll still poke the shit out of you <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> she was carrying I was like hmm. I don't know why I thought that in this episode because she was just carrying the bags over the goblins in her hands or whatever I was like I feel like that's not the, the best way to transport weapons <laughs> Better hope they're all sheathed and not like one just slits through the bag or something and cuts you all the way down. You're very concerned about weapon hey, delivery. I want to make sure Henry's safe, okay? Well, I I think she's <laughs> she's got a gang with her. Yeah, and then I like how she was talking to, like the goblins, like, oh like I'm exhausted. They they kept asking me from every detail, like why has like I wonder why they if you have a quest they probably want every detail right like that was your whole purpose coming here. like oh you have a demon snake and a giant teaming up <laughs> moving towards you that's it that's all you need to that's know it. Uh, that's <laughs> all you need to know like do you have any more details than that <laughs> feel oh, like you would want more details than just yeah hey they're coming but uh yeah then she's you know talked about getting the chief position and you know she's gonna become village chief. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious. She talks about it like she wants to do it. Like, you know, <clears throat> Niff kind of pushes her to do it. He says you'll be great. Which I mean, she's already doing it now anyway. Really, right? She's just gonna officially have the title now. I don't see the village chief going to the capital to sell or the city to sell like. Well, did, I think didn't, isn't he like passing it to her? Right? Yeah, he is. Pretty much. He's like, guy. he's like, he's like, he's his prime. <laughs> he's like, I don't understand goblins as well as her. Right. Or ogres. <clears throat> and then we get the after credit scene, which. This is strange Lupus, to me. So, okay, Lupus. Woo. She's called by Ainz, but that's why the other one came. She's like, oh, uh, Ainz is calling for you. And it's like, then they go ahead and have their conversation anyway. Uh, right. I'm very confused why she wishes it to pay, like, to fail or to pretty much all of them get dead. Yeah, she's like, I just love imagining them getting crushed like insects. Hope right. village perishes. It's like, oh, now, Lupus, you went from, you just got a churn, you just went from real dark. She's kind of like, Nave. Is it just because? Because Nave is the same way. Like, right. But, but, like, if. Ainz wants this to work, why would she openly not want it to work? We've already seen how obedient literally every character from Nazareth well, I, is. I don't think it's like a disobedient. I think it's like, like she said, she hopes it perishes. That's more like... That's one... <laughs> what do you no, mean? No, no, no. I'm saying it's like, she's not going to like actively try Well, I know, but like, if... Because <laughs> even Nave, like, she listens, but she still doesn't want to like actually help them. Well, she just openly hates them. This is, I feel, different. She's like, I want it to fail, is what she pretty much said. 
yeah she yeah which that's i don't know that's it was weird to me no i uh, they just they i just mean i this... can understand that she hates humans and would want to see them dead like i was okay with, until she was like i want to see the village fail because i was a I'm just under the impression they need the well, not need the village. They want it to work for something. I don't. Yeah, know. I wonder if it'll come up because she was called by Ains. So how it's going to come across? Because we'll see what next episode on sailing where how Ains is going to come into it because he's there as Molon in the city. I assume and he was. so. It has been, and the village knows him as Ains. They right. don't know him as Molon. So obviously. You want to want a village to fail if you know Ainz already has a connection and gave them great gifts. Right. That's what That makes it more and confusing. Help them, like, he gave Henry the horn to call the goblins. Yeah. She helped build the village. <clears throat> saved them. Like, Helped her out at the... She's just a human hater, okay? <laughs> she, I guess. I mean, obviously. Like, they're insects. They I don't like humans. insects. Yeah, most of them do. It's just kind of their... I the program, all, the yeah. game. But yeah, that's the episode. That is the episode. You want to jump into scores? Yeah, I can do it. Uh, I did like it more than last episode. At least I feel like there was actually some character development going on and some development kind of progressing towards the story, whereas last episode it felt like none of that was there, in my opinion. Uh, whereas this episode it was. So I'm going to give it... Maybe a six, I think, on the high end. Um, it is was better. Like again, I felt like a couple scenes were weird, but other than that, like I prefer Henry over a lot of the other ones. We didn't get too much of the goblins, not too much of. We got right. some Lupus. We got some. Right. Nave's back. Thank you. Like there's there seems to be more of a, like hey we're getting tied into Nazareth now. That yeah. I agree. If I have six, yeah, I'll say six. This is what I was like, like showing how they're connected to the village, is what we asked for. I feel like this episode could, you could literally, almost replace this episode with last episode if you just added. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you could literally just cut down last episode a bit and put in a big chunk of this episode. <clears throat> but. We already talked about the ending scene being a bit strange, but I still feel the pace is a bit slow. Like, it's taking its time still. Which isn't always bad, but... Yeah, we talked about this before. Like, if we are binging the series, like, if you waited for it to done and, like, binged it, the whole thing, like, it probably wouldn't feel as slow or at least as bad, but, like, not as bad. Right. Honestly, well, it's yeah, just... But, like, we, I've already nice. brought this up plenty of times, and I don't want to beat a dead horse, but, like, season one was very main character focused. And then Ainz was in this for, like, 30 seconds, if that. It's it's strange to, like, focus so much on a character, and then, like, I don't want to say cut him out, but, like, put him to the side for a bit, which they've pretty much done. Which they did the start of last season as well. It's just different to me, and... It makes to me it feels like it slows down the pace a lot. Especially if you compare it to how season one was. But I don't know. <clears throat> I'm hoping this has great importance that we'll learn later. Yeah, I imagine. I right, we're going all the way back to the first village, so <laughs> I'd hope so. <laughs> I hope so, but yeah, I think does it for the review? Yeah! Spiel time! As always, uh, if you don't want to be overran by demon, snake, and giant, and you want to hire someone, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, no notification bell, be notified every time we <laughs> upload. You're hiring us, okay? Woo. That's where I'm going. Woo, okay, uh... <laughs> Uh, comment down below. Let us know what you thought of the episode, what you did, didn't like, what you score it, anything. Again, no spoilers or confirming denying theories. So we are anime viewers only, and plenty of others are. Uh, streamer at twitch.tv, links in the description below, along with social media and Discord, which is open for discussions, anything like that. So 
Until next time, peace out. See ya.